as Suni strives to reclaim her spot at the top, despite facing immense challenges. Simona's words couldn't have come at a better time. But what exactly did the legendary gymnast say to inspire and uplift her teammate? Disease, since it's in remission now, getting the medication right, it's been really difficult to road back, but here she is at nationals. Let me tell you about two of the most amazing gymnasts out there right now, Simone Biles and Suni Lee. If you're a fan of gymnastics, these names should already be on your radar. Simone Biles, with her seven Olympic medals, is like a living legend in the gymnastics world. She's known not just for her incredible skills, which leave audiences in awe, but also for her resilience and mental strength. Remember the Tokyo Olympics? Biles took a break from competition to focus on her mental health, showing us all that it's okay to prioritize well-being over everything else. Over to the balance beam, and the reigning Olympic all-around gold medalist, Suni Lee, this young star is the reigning Olympic all-around champion and has her sights set on the upcoming Paris Games. Lee's journey has been nothing short of inspiring. She's got this remarkable ability to perform difficult routines with such grace and precision that you can't help but root for her. One of her standout skills is her incredible work on the uneven bars. At the Paris Games, she's a favorite to win an Olympic medal on this apparatus. Her routine is packed with challenging elements that could put her in contention for gold. Simone Biles takes off. The context for our story is the recent U.S. Gymnastics Championships, where both Simone Biles and Suni Lee were competing. It's not just about their performances, but also about the camaraderie and support they show each other. During this event, something significant happened that highlighted the bond between these two gymnasts. Lee was under a lot of pressure, trying to perfect her routine, especially with her eyes on the Paris Games. Despite being competitors, Biles stepped in with some heartfelt advice when Lee needed it the most. The US Gymnastics Championships and the tension in the air is palpable. It's one of those make or break moments for many athletes, especially for Suni Lee. She was all set to showcase her skills, but then something went wrong. During her vault routine, she attempted a double twist, but couldn't quite nail it. She changed her vault mid-air and missed the landing, and you could see the disappointment on her face. It was like the air was sucked out of the room for a moment. If you've ever been in a high-pressure situation, you know how quickly things can spiral emotionally and mentally. For Suni, this was a big deal. She had put in countless hours of hard work, and this one slip felt like the end of the world. It's heartbreaking to see someone so talented and dedicated struggle like that, especially when you know how much it means to them. But here's where the story gets touching. Enter Simone Biles. If there's anyone who understands the mental and emotional toll of gymnastics, it's her. Remember how she bravely stepped back at the Tokyo Olympics to focus on her mental health? She's been through the ringer and knows exactly what it feels like to be overwhelmed by the pressure. So seeing Suni in distress, Simone didn't just stand by. She went backstage and had a heart to heart with her. Simone talked to Suni, offering her some much needed comfort and encouragement. She drew from her own experience with the twisties, a terrifying condition where gymnasts lose their sense of space and direction while in the air. Simone had faced this in Tokyo and knew firsthand how scary and disorienting it could be. She told Suni she understood what she was going through and reminded her to trust in her gymnastics and believe in herself. Now, let's dive into the heartwarming support Simone Biles gave Suni Lee. So, after Suni's vault mishap, she was understandably shaken. It's one of those moments where you can see an athlete's confidence take a hit. But Simone, being the incredible mentor and friend she is, stepped right in. Simone found Suni backstage, and you can imagine how that conversation must have felt like a lifeline. Simone has been in Suni's shoes before, dealing with the same pressures and fears. She shared her understanding of what Suni was going through. It wasn't just about saying, you'll be fine, but connecting with her on a deeper level. Simone talked about her own experiences with mental blocks, specifically the twisties, where you lose your sense of where you are in the air. She emphasized the importance of trusting one's abilities and not letting these mental blocks take over. 
The way Simone approached this was so genuine and heartfelt. She reminded Suni that she had the skills and strength to overcome this setback. It was all about believing in herself and trusting in the hard work she had put in. Simone's words were comforting and encouraging, something Suni desperately needed at that moment. Hey, let's talk about the impact of this support. Suni later shared how much it meant to her that Simone reached out. She said it was nice having Simone in her corner, especially because Simone truly understood what she was going through. This wasn't just a superficial pep talk. It was one Olympian helping another navigate through a tough time with empathy and insight. I knew exactly what was going through her head. I dealt with that in Tokyo, so I just knew that she needed some encouragement and somebody to trust her gymnastics for her and to believe in her. So Simone's support played a huge role in boosting Suni's confidence. It helped her shift her focus from the mistake she made to the bigger picture of her capabilities and goals. After their conversation, Suni was able to gather herself and push forward. She finished fourth at the Nationals, which is no small feat especially considering everything she's been through, including her battle with kidney disease. So let's talk about Suni Lee's performance at the U.S. Gymnastics Championships and what the future might hold for her. After that vault mishap, which could have been a huge blow to her confidence, Suni managed to pull herself together and deliver a solid performance. She finished fourth overall, which is impressive considering everything she's been through. This was her first time competing in the all-around since winning gold at the Tokyo Olympics, and she showed that she's still a force to be reckoned with. What makes Suni's story even more remarkable is her comeback after being diagnosed with kidney disease last year. Taking time off to focus on her health must have been incredibly challenging, but her return to competition proves just how resilient she is. Her journey back to top form has been inspiring and it's clear that she's determined to shine again on the world stage. Looking ahead to the Paris Olympics, Suni has a lot going for her. One of her biggest strengths is her performance on the uneven bars. She's known for her fluid transitions and high-flying releases, which make her routines both technically impressive and visually stunning. If she can fine-tune her routines and minimize deductions, she could be a top contender. Suni's potential routine for the Paris Games is packed with difficulty, starting with a challenging six-skill combo on the high bar and ending with a complex dismount. Her routine could earn her a start value of 6.9. This is highly competitive and puts her in the same league as the reigning World Uneven Bars champions. If she nails her execution, she could very well challenge the best in the world, including China's Chu Qian and Algeria's Kia Nur both of whom have been scoring around 15.4 internationally. The key for Suni will be to keep her routines clean and maintain her confidence. The support from her teammates, especially Simone Biles, will be crucial as she prepares for Paris. With her natural talent and determination, Suni has the potential to not just compete, but to excel and possibly bring home another Olympic medal. Let's consider what Simone Biles has been up to lately because her journey is nothing short of inspiring. Since making her return to gymnastics, Simone has been on fire. After taking a break post-Tokyo Olympics to focus on her mental health, she came back stronger and more determined than ever. At the recent U.S. Gymnastics Championships, she clinched her record-extending ninth all-around national title, and that's just the beginning. Last year, she dominated at the World Championships, winning four gold medals and a silver, making her the most decorated gymnast of all time. It's like she hasn't missed a beat. So what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.